Rice is part of Cambodia's past, present, and future. In Cambodia today, rice remains the main food crop. 85% of Cambodians are rice farmers. Like other Asian rice farmers, they experience many challenges, including high post-harvest losses. The International Rice Research Institute, or IRI, has found that from harvest to market, farmers usually lose 30 to 50 percent of their earnings. Conservatively, they are losing around 30 U.S. dollars per ton of rice harvested. Delayed, incomplete, or ineffective drying is the main reason for the deterioration of rice seed and grain. Like millions of Asian farmers, Cambodian farmers traditionally dry their grains under the sun, spreading them on roads and other open spaces. This may be a cheap and convenient way for them, but sun-dried grains have poor milling quality and obtain a low price on the market. The sun can also damage rice seed. But uh, the obvious problem that everybody can see is the shattering loss caused by some uh, animals like chicken that go to eat those rice and then take the grain out of the dry pan. And other problem is the grain being mixed with uh, stone. If they do it uh, beside road, the grain can be uh, contaminated by uh, dirt. And the other problem that the farmers have not uh, been aware of is that their grain gets very hot, especially during moon time. So it means that if the grain will be used as seed, the seed will not uh, have a very high germination rate. To maintain high grain quality, the International Rice Research Institute and its partners have developed mechanical dryers that are affordable for farmer groups. The flatbed dryer is the simplest and most affordable type of mechanical dryer. It dries wet grains by forcing heated air through the grain bulk. In 2007, Erie and the Irrigated Rice Research Consortium funded by the Asian Development Bank and the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation, introduced mechanical drying in Cambodia. The first flatbed dryer was installed in Batambang, the country's leading rice-producing province, in collaboration with the Irrigation Association of the local farmers. Kul Savun, chief of the Farmers' Association, is very happy with the results of the flatbed dryer. Before the ADB ERI project came in, just like other farmers in our village, I had no idea about moisture content. I relied only on my gut feeling in determining whether the paddy was dry or not. After learning about moisture content, I noticed that my grains became clean, had no bugs, and had better quality. After milling, sun-dried rice is yellowish and has more broken grains than rice-dried using a mechanical dryer. Since the quality of the grains dried through a mechanical dryer has improved, the price has stepped up from $23 per bag to $25 per bag. We no longer depend on the climate to dry our paddy. We can dry our paddy even during rainy days or at night. A flatbed dryer can produce 10 to 15 percent more whole rice grains than sun drying. It produces clean white grains with no stones and dirt, discoloration, or yellowing. It can dry one ton of grain for only $10, while sun drying one ton of grain can cost $10 to $15. And it allows drying of grains at any time of day or night, even in rainy weather. Um Sak and San Sarom, farmers in Preveng province, learned about the benefits of the flatbed dryer in Batambang and requested the project to help them install a dryer in their village. In early 2008, two dryers were installed. One was supported by the project while the other was set up by a private company, ABK, in cooperation with the community. 
I often tell other farmers about the benefits of the flatbed dryers everywhere, in meetings and even in pagodas. I tell them about the advantages, that the quality of grain is better than sun drying, so we get paid more. They can control or monitor the heat. With sun drying, the heat of the sun can make the grain break or not germinate well. One flatbed dryer can dry 4 to 5 tons of paddy in just 8 hours. Many traders and millers now want me to look at their mill because they want me to set up their own flatbed dryers for rice and other cash crops. A flatbed dryer can be used by farmers, farmers groups, service providers, millers, and traders. And it can be used to dry rice paddy and other grains such as maize, beans, and peanuts. Nu Kum Sien, a farmer and chairman of the Pursat Rice Millers Association, also learned about the flatbed dryer from the project and adopted the technology when it was first introduced in 2007. He quickly saw the benefits of the technology and altered it according to his needs. With the help of project leaders Martin Gumert from Erie and Meas Piset, Nu Kum Sien built a flatbed dryer and later on designed his own recirculating batch dryer to be able to dry up to 12 tons of grain in about 8 hours. The mechanical dryers is also good for now because in Cambodia, like many other countries, the labor shortage has also become a big problem for this country. So, especially for farmers who produce a big amount of grain, sun drying is not suitable anymore for them. So, mechanical drying can be one of the good best solutions. The government also has put a new policy on uh, exporting rice on our own. So a lot of rice production is, has been encouraged. So uh, instead of doing only one crop a year, now farmers try to do many crops a year. And then For the whole country, there might be 100 to 200 units of dryers being used by Cambodian farmers and millers. This amount is very little when compared to the number of farmers in the whole country. Using flatbed dryers, Cambodian farmers can produce better quality rice and improve their livelihoods and make Cambodia a stable exporter of rice.